you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that the course of this world may be peacefully governed by your providence, and that your church may joyfully serve you in confidence and serenity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Here ends the lesson. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus is saying that none of us have to remain as hopeless sinners outside of the kingdom of God. He's making it absolutely clear to all who will listen that God is concerned with the repentance of sinners. Jesus lived these words as he sat, ate, and talked with those who were thought of as hopeless and sinners outside of the realm. The irony in this is that the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who had the institutional authority and responsibility to help prepare the way for the Messiah could not understand and would not accept the Messiah. I wonder if the hardness of heart that prevented them from knowing and accepting Jesus as the Messiah, much less as their Messiah, was because they could not or would not move past the sin of pride. At one level, it seems to be that, to me that that should be so hard to do, and yet at another level, I know it happens so easily. The minute we quit asking God to show us the way and decide we know the way we become lost, thank goodness none of us have to remain as hopeless sinners outside of the kingdom of God. When we are lost, Jesus says we have the opportunity without delay to repent and then look and see what happens. Not only is there rejoicing in heaven, but Jesus will even carry us on his shoulders to bring us back into the fold. Repentance and forgiveness are essential to a living and loving relationship with Jesus. May we each be ready and free to repent that which needs to be forgiven and equally ready to forgive others as we have been forgiven so that all may be restored to fellowship with God. Also, I believe it is important to note that Jesus was not saying the other 99 sheep were not important. Instead, he was simply emphasizing that the one sheep not in the fold is a metaphor for a person who wants to be restored to the fellowship but may feel particularly unworthy. To that person, Jesus is saying, Come back with a contrite heart, repent of your sin, and be received back as one highly valued and loved by God. Let us pray. O merciful Father, who has taught us in your holy word, that you would never willingly afflict or grieve the children of men. Look with pity upon the sorrows of your servants for whom our prayers are offered. Remember each, O Lord, in mercy. Nourish their souls with patience. 
Comfort them with a sense of your goodness and lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel and check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings. Thank you.